Hey everyone, the brand new lighting control tablet app from Godox, Godox Knowledge, is now available on both the Apple Store and Google Play. So, what is Godox Knowledge and what can we do with it? Godox Knowledge is a professional lighting control app for the film and television industry, fully supporting the DMX protocol. This means you've got the power to manage any DMX compatible lighting fixtures. And we're talking about all brands, not just Godox. Imagine the convenience on set, no more juggling different controllers or systems for different brands of lights. Godox Knowledge can offer seamless integrated lighting control for a broad range of lighting scenarios. Simply to say, it's like holding a lighting console right in your hand, where you can adjust brightness, color temperature, hue, assign addresses to lights, and fully manage your lighting fixtures with just a few taps. Armed with just a lightweight tablet, moving around on set becomes a breeze, offering both easy portability and convenience. On top of the standard features, the Godox Knowledge app also brings lighting mapping directly to your fingertips, eliminating the hassle of complex setups or the need for extra software. Just upload your video clips and you're all set to begin mapping instantly. This makes everything incredibly straightforward and streamlines a whole bunch of processes. Now, even if you're working out of a small studio, you can pull off seamless mapping. Moreover, Godox Knowledge comes with a powerful feature, lighting layout. Navigating the complex lighting setups on set can be challenging, and managing all your lights efficiently is definitely no small feat. The lighting layout is all about boosting your on-set efficiency. Within its grid-based layout interface, every light is visible, allowing you to drag and drop each one to its correct spot, mirroring their real-world positions on sets. This feature enables you to swiftly locate and adjust any light, significantly enhancing your productivity on set. Plus, you can adjust various light settings very intuitively. This robust lighting control app is up for grabs at no cost, including access to one universe for free use by everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through getting up and running with the Godox Knowledge app, from connecting to your lights to managing them. For a deeper dive into its features, our tutorial series has got you covered. Okay, let's start with the Godox Knowledge app. You first have to create an account. The app lets you sign up using either your international mobile number or an email address. Going the mobile route, pick your country code, punch in your phone number, and key in the verification code sent your way. After you've successfully registered, you're all set to dive into the app. Once you're logged in, you land on the project management screen. First up, let's create a project name tutorial and dive into it. Inside, we'll create a scene named Quick Use and hop into that. Welcome to your main control interface. Now, it's time to link up the lights with the app to take charge of the fixtures we've got here. The app offers two primary ways to connect wirelessly and with wires. Let's kick things off with the wireless method via Bluetooth and CRMX. This is our go-to recommendation since it cuts down on cable clutter on set, making everything neater and allowing you the freedom to roam with your tablet as you please. Here's the rundown of what you need. It's pretty straightforward, really. Just your tablet loaded with the Godox Knowledge app, the lights you want to connect, and the Timolink TRX. This Timolink TRX I've got here is basically a wireless Bluetooth to CRMX transceiver, transforming your tablet's Bluetooth signal into CRMX to take control of the lights. It converts the tablet's Bluetooth signal into a CRMX signal to control the lights. It needs power to run, you can plug it to a control box, or a power bank works just fine too. Step 1 is getting the Timolink TRX powered and ready. If it's been used before, Hitting the reset button quickly to reset it is a good call. Step 2 involves pairing it with your tablet. The Timolink TRX is a transceiver, and we're utilizing it in transmitter mode here. When you see these three lights lit up at the same time, it's going for transmission mode. 
Uh, we can also press the reset and set buttons at the same time to enter activation mode to confirm and switch between transmitting and receiving. Tapping set toggles between the two modes and hitting reset toggles Bluetooth on or off. With Bluetooth on and set to transmit, pressing reset and set together once more gets you back to operational mode. Then swing by the app's network settings, fire up Bluetooth and connect to the Timo Link TRS. Now that it's connected, you spot the Bluetooth icon turned green up top right, and that's your cue to close it off. With the tablet and Timo Link TRX now on speaking terms, Moving on to step 3 means getting the lights talking to the Timolink TRX. Let's get the P600R panel lights into the mix. On its control box, dial in the DMX settings, start adjust at 1, mode 2, HSI 8 bit. Fire up CRMX, switch it to receiving, and hit reset. Get the light prepped, then give the set on the Timolink TRX a tap and watch as the LEDs on both the Timolink TRX and the lights will start flashing quickly. Alright, the flashing is done, and the LED colors on the Timolink TRX and the lights syncing up means we're connected. For lights that are CRMX friendly, roping in Timolink TRX or Timolink RX receiver lets you wirelessly bridge the connection via CRMX. Moving on, let's get this P600R added in the Nolid app. Head over to the device control interface, and in the top right corner, hit Add a Fixture. The P600R is ready and waiting in the system's fixture bank, so we'll select Goldox from there and pick out the P600R. It's crucial to match the HSI 8-bit mode set on the actual light. Opt for one unit and dial in the starting address as 1 ensuring it aligns with the light fixture setup. We'll label it p 600 r one to mark it. A splash of green will serve as its tag color. Hit Confirm to add, and just like that, the fixture joins the line up on the interface. A quick tap on the little bob icon, and the fixture gives a blink. Now, tweaking its brightness and hue is all in your hands. If you need to bulk at identical fixtures at once, it's also convenient. Say we're adding two P300Rs. First, set the DMX address on the fixtures, turn on CRMX, and set it to receiving mode. One P300R gets an address of 10, followed by 13 for the next one. Since the HSI 8-bit mode occupies three channels, brightness, hue, saturation, We'll cover the knowledge on modes and channels in a dedicated tutorial. Next, on your tablet, venture into Add a Fixture, pick P300R, stick with the HSI 8-bit mode, punch in 2 for the quantity, and start from the 10 slot, letting the adjusts line up right after. Opt for a red and confirm to bring them into the device control view. Now, these two lights will appear on the device settings interface. A quick pick, and every light's in sync. Also, in the channel test area, go in and turn on the switch. Flip the channel test on to see what's what with each channel and tweak them all at once to check if every fixture's properly linked up. If you prefer a wide setup, the Godox Knowledge app is all set for that too. Let me walk you through hooking things up using ArtNet and the Daisy Chain DMX approach. You need a few things. A tablet with the Goldox Knowledge app, a USB-C to Ethernet adapter, a pair of Ethernet cables, a router, your lighting fixtures, and a couple of DMX cables. First, get that router powered on. Next, link up the router to one of your lights, provided it's ArtNet compatible. Then. Connect the light to all the others in line using the DMX cable. Following that, bridge your tablet to the router using the USB-C to Ethernet adapter and one of those Ethernet cables. With the hardware all hooked up, it's time to dive into some settings for the ArtNet address within the app. Hit up the connection settings and toggle on ArtNet. Just a heads up, 
you can only choose between ArtNet and Bluetooth here. Dive into the ArtNet configurations, click on the switch, and dial in your net, subnet, and port settings. Make sure the ArtNet addresses for both the light fixtures and the app are in harmony. Also, set the DMX address and mode accordingly, which will facilitate the addiction of lights later. Once you've got those settings squared away, it's time to configure the fixtures. With a wired connection, there's no need to worry about CRMX activation. Just set your DMX address and mode on each fixture. Adding fixtures in the app follows the familiar path. Tap to add a fixture, find out the model you're adding, match the mode, and key in the corresponding DMX address. All right, we're back in action. We've got two P300Rs, two P600Rs, and one p 600 by and one mg 1200 by They're all hooked up and ready to go. If you're looking to tweak them one by one, just give the light you want to adjust a click. This will bring up device control interface, allowing you to fine tone the color, brightness, and more, pretty much giving you the feel of a physical lighting console for a user-friendly experience. Want to handle a few lights at once? No problem. Just select the fixtures you need. Hit the group button, and you've got a collective control setup. Just a heads up, Grouping is exclusive to lights that are the same model and in the same mode. Dive into the device settings interface and you'll find all sorts of details like the fixtures ID, mode, universe, and DMX address. Swap those three dots next to each light, click on them to rename your fixtures, or jump into the settings to reassign DMX addresses, or switch up their background colors to keep things organized. With the basics of lighting connections and controls out of the way, it's time to explore the light mapping feature next. The Goldox Noid app boots with a standout feature not readily found in other apps, that is light mapping. As virtual production becomes more common, ensuring that on-site lighting harmonizes with the scene is crucial, and that's exactly what light mapping addresses. For instance, Take this video of a street with complex lighting effects. If we aim to film someone walking or driving down this street, then the light falling on the person needs to match the street scene's colors and continually change. The Goldox Knowledge app eliminates the need for additional mapping software or equipment. With straightforward operations, it empowers even modestly sized studios to create scenes requiring light mapping, thus managing production expensive effectively. Shifting to the light mapping interface, you find the sampling zone to your right. Simply drag and place the fixtures you've added from the left into this area to commence light sampling. Light sampling split into two types, video and real-time camera sampling. Video sampling allows you to upload a pre-edited video clip into the right-hand sampling space. Position the sampling point where needed and press the play button. Then, the lighting adapts in real time with a video playback. In this sense, we place two pixel panel lights on each side, which will change in sync with the strict variations. And there's a P600 by above used to simulate the strict light. And here's the MG1200 by below projecting onto the mirror above and behind of the subject used to simulate the fireworks. This setup allows the subject to blend more seamless into the overall background, creating a more authentic visual effect. Adjusting the sampling point size enables finer color accuracy, while tweaking overall brightness ensures consistency with the scene. Alternatively, real-time camera sampling involves pointing your tablet's camera at the live scene or screen. Upon pressing play, the lighting adjusts accordingly. This approach grants the flexibility to modify the sampling point's dimensions, the scene's overall luminosity, focusing distance, exposure, and color temperature, offering users a considerable range of control.
Apart from its standout light mapping capability, the Godox Nolid app also offers a super handy lighting layout feature. In the lighting layout interface, beyond the original set of lights, we've added two TP4Rs. Initially, these fixtures are organized within the grid in the order they were added. Currently, we have a total of eight lights on set, creating a somewhat complex setup. Yet, the number of lights in a production can be even greater and more intricate. Searching for a specific light in the list view can become a hassle. That's why we rolled out the lighting layout feature. It lets you swiftly pinpoint and adjust whichever light you need with it. So, how do we achieve this? Well, we align the fixture icons in the grid to mirror their actual onset positions, ensuring a one-to-one -one match with reality. Want to reposition a fixture? Just select and drag it to where it needs to go. For instance, we move the P600 by to the front. If you wish to move several lights at once, like repositioning the P300R and P600R to the right side, hit the selection button and draw a dash box around the fixtures you're after for a group move. This allows for batch movement. You can also select multiple lights and move them together. To better match the onset lighting positions, we might want to arrange these lights vertically. This can be easily done by clicking the vertical icon. If it doesn't look right, hitting undo is always an option. This setup gives you the flexibility to arrange the fixtures based on the actual dimensions of your space and the number of lights you've got. Now, the layout interface mirrors the true onset arrangement. You can see on the sides are the pixel panel lights. At the back are two TP4Rs. There's one MG1200 by, and in the center is a P600 by. It's designed to be intuitive. Moreover, for a neater, more straightforward display, you can opt to hide the grid and number labels. This functionality ensures you can quickly locate and adjust any light directly from the interface. If you're uncertain about which icon matches which onset light, Simply select the light and hit the flash button for a visual cue. The light will give a blink. If you now want to change the hues of those two tubes at the back, just select them within the layout interface and tweak their color via the right-hand sidebar. The color selection is user-friendly and intuitive. Just pick the shade you need with a tap. You also have the option to save color presets for later use on different fixtures. Hit Save Material, add a new one, give it a name for easy recall. Then apply it to other lights with a simple click from the preset library. And for those times you need to quickly turn off all lights on set, the blackout button is your go-to, ensuring all lights are off in a flash. The Godox Knowledge app elevates the game of professional lighting control, turning clunky consoles into a portable app that's ready wherever and wherever you are. It instantly clarifies light positions on your screen, streamlining every operation to be more intuitive and straightforward, and even makes complex light mapping tasks a breeze. This commitment to innovation is Godox's way of empowering creators, enhancing efficiency and simplification on set and ensuring that every creative mind can complete their vision effortlessly. We're excited to extend an invitation to all gaffers, cinematographers, and DOPs to embrace this app. Dive into unmatched lighting control today. For those immersed in the world of film, television, or advertising projects, the Godox Knowledge app will be your most reliable partner. Should questions or ideas arise as you explore the app, we're here to listen and assist. Join us on a venture to unlock the endless possibilities of visual storytelling. This is a quick start tutorial. For a deeper dive into the app's functionalities and features, our library of instructional videos await your curiosity, and we're going to continually expanding our resources to ensure you get the most out of the Godox Knowledge app.